my name is Ramsony. Welcome back to video games. It's video games time. Two pie chompers, two stings, and a reinforce, as well as tempered strength of my units. So I could go into like a armor build already. Friendly units gain plus three health. Um, or the pyre wall, your armor. Sorry, your pyre starts each battle with eight armor. Uh, that helps you get through a lot of early fights, but we also have two stings in the deck by base. So early fights shouldn't really be that too much of a problem for us. I'll take the hammer chest plates though. Mm, Rothful here for the armor. So what, the idea is we use Rothful, remove the r remove the consume on reinforce, play reinforce a bunch of times, get a Rothful that's really, really big, and then battering ram nuke our enemies. Because the thing is, we still need damage. Enemy units enter with spikes too. Am I okay with that? Yeah, I should be okay with that. With the Hornbreaker. Okay. Let's torch one of you. Put the Hornbreaker on top. Torch you again. The idea here being that I'm going to try and set up for the... Yeah, set up for the Forge Disciple. Let's get both these pine chompers out of the deck. They won't die to the enemy's thorns here, but I don't need their damage. I don't need their energy for the rest of the fight either. Gotta go, so I kill. Um, I'll heal you up a little. Train suit on the bottom floor, I guess. Hey, bud. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're not going to kill the spiked. Just, just off, though. Hey, there you go. You get through with one health, bud. To 11. I change the difference. Hit, we hit back, hit, we die. Yeah. Let's just get two hits off at least. And that'll do on this floor though. Great. Pyach One Horn's Tome! Consume multi strike this early? Yes, please. That's a build around at this point. Wildwood Custodian, another Sting, and an Ensnare. I think we'll pass. So I'm looking to upgrade something in a uh, shop here, definitely. Uh, can I go for a Merchant of Magic in the next area? No, not necessarily. Do you have any card except for your champion? Yeah, let's try and get like a massive high roll here. Double stack on One Horn's Term. Reduce its cost. Take the money. We should probably remove two cards from the deck at this point. So now the goal is build multi-strike on a unit that shouldn't otherwise have it. Because we're going to dupe the One Horn's Tome in the next area. So we'll have two cards in our deck that are uh, apply multi-strike two for three energy. It's pretty good. Our damage against enemies is a little bit lacking. Uh, I guess the Hornbreaker can kill the frontliners anyway. And if it kills the frontliners, it still gets its armor back. So then I can kill the backliners with spikes. Yeah, so actually it's just a Pyre Chomper behind a Hornbreaker is actually enough for us here. Okay. Or one with one horn's tome. Oh, that's incredible at work as well. I'm going to reinforce you. Oh my god. <laughs> Slice him. Uh, let's get a train seal behind. And then a pyre jump behind that. I jump on the top floor. Just get it out of the cycle. So double torch kills the back line. Saving us a bunch of spikes damage. So we can kill. Yeah, I'm duping the one horn's tome in the next area. This is great. 
We're going to have five multi-strike on a character that is slaying for armor. We just need it to have more damage as well. Uh, end flame gives it more armor and gives it more damage as well. I mean, it's pretty much exactly what I was asking for. Don't need for any of those though. Let's see the artifact first. After playing a spell, spells in your hand with the lower energy cost are free, so that'll make the One Horn's Tome makes all of our two cost spells, Reinforce, End Flame, all the Resource and Torches, cost nothing. Sounds good to me. Get another One Horn's Tome. I should definitely purge a uh, unit. No, I don't think I need to purge a unit yet. I'm going to purge a spell from the deck. Let's get a... Reinforce, uh, a reinforce area restore out of here. So it'll restore 23 health, but honestly, I'm just using that as a removal effectively. Because on, uh, on play, it'll purge. All right, Daedalus. Pretty much my only goal here is just, you know, get the multi-strikes off and then just let them rip. As well, frontliner. So it's uh, enemy unit steal front uh, two damage to the front enemy unit on death. Okay. It's also enrage you. I'm gonna purge the restore. I'm never gonna have a good opportunity to use that big of a restore here. Uh, the faster I purge it, the better off we are cycling back into our other one horn stones. Extremely, extremely happy to lose the second floor at this point. Like, I hard do not want it. Perfect. All of them got to the top floor. And pop another one horn stone on you, and then basically at this point, it really doesn't matter what we do. Like, seriously, it doesn't matter. As soon as Daedalus gets to the top floor, they die. So we could just end every turn. Alright. End flame. I'm gonna torch any of the ones that are. Sapping up extra hits there for us, just so that we can get more hits on Daedalus. I'm still going to need more ways to give rage to my characters, though. Uh, your multi-strike will actually get you a bunch of armor here. So I'll just attack the bottom line there. If I can get the rail hammer, rail beater, rail something, I can't remember its full name actually. It is a relic that whenever you gain armor, gain plus four stacks of armor. That would be ridiculous. Right? Got him. We had a long while left in that battle if we needed it. Uh, additional energy per turn. Draw an extra card per turn. I kind of want to draw the extra card per turn. These Pyre Chompers will allow me to play two One Horns Tomes if I draw them in the same hand. Just need to get to them faster. Wildwood Tome. Consume. Apply quick. So quick on a Hornbreaker with five multi-strike. Yeah. Yeah. Our frontline unit is now the Steelworker. We don't need a Steelworker in the frontline for us. An Animus of Speed in the back line with more multi-strike on it. It could have seven times multi-strike, but it just doesn't do damage. Yeah, we should take a, a high damage unit and make it multi-strike rather than a low damage multi-strike unit and give it more multi-strike. I'm going to pass. Dupe and remove two cards. To me, it looks like get, you know, another Hellhorns. But also there is uh, Forge Your Spells to gain new powers as well as possibly pick up a damage dealer. 
Fortune Spells gain new powers at this point would be like reduce the cost of the end flame or uh, give it holdover. Holdover on end flame would be really good. Play it every single turn on the Hornbreaker. Uh, double stack is also really good on it. Remove consume. Remove consume on uh, reinforce would be really good. Okay, there are enough different things in the Merchant of Magic that would actually be good for us at this point. Oh, uh, but a Merchant of Magic is long with two removals and an artifact on the next floor. Never mind. I'll take the dupe and two removals on this floor then. Store out of there. And you know what? With the amount of armor that we have, another restore is fine. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. The only problem is the uh, the the frontliner units in this fight are pretty big, aren't they? I don't want it though. Thirty. That could be a lot worse, though. So we kill the backliner there. I'm gonna drop a hornbreaker, sting. It's not gonna be enough. Even if I throw out the train steward, it's not enough. Put the train steward on the next floor or on this floor. Eh, this floor for a little bit more damage. Sure. I'm hoping to draw one of my one horns tomes this turn. No, but we got the winged tome. End flame you. Got a whole lot of hits there. Yeah, that clipped guardian is going straight to the top of the map here. Unfortunately, we got three one horns tome in the same turn, but I'm gonna need a pyre chomper as well. I'm literally gonna be one energy short of playing all three of those next turn. That's really annoying. Oh well. go. It's enough to start killing targets for us. It's good enough for me. Let's get the end flame out there as well as sting. Three torches on the frontliner. So that we can get more slaves up there. Yeah, I'm fine. If it's 12 damage in order to get a... In fact, it looks like it will be. Uh, yeah, that's 12 damage in order for us to pick up a artifact. I would do that. I would make that trade every time. Perfect. Railhammer! Yes! Definitely worth! Grant plus four stacks of armor each time it's applied. Every slay is just plus four for us now. Uh, important work. Not entirely necessary, TDH. Engraft. Restore one health, draw one card, gain one energy. Having that cost nothing because I played like an end flame or a one horns tome beforehand is actually really good. Just gives us an extra energy back. Let's go for the artifact first. Rage adds an additional damage per stack. Sounds good to me. Double stack on the end flame and reduce its cost by one. Eh, but if I reduce its cost, it doesn't make other things cost way less. But it's easier to play by itself. Fine. Uh, definitely remove a torch. And then definitely remove maybe two more torches. Like the whole thing literally now is just end flame a bunch on the, on my big boy. Slay to gain more armor or give it multi-strike by base. I think slay to give it more armor because this is 30 damage already. Baby? This is working out really well. 
Uh, Non-boss enemy units gain six additional damage. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty fine. How are they gonna kill my Hornbreaker? They're not gonna. My Hornbreaker is usually the only person that actually takes damage in these fights. Okay, Hornbreaker, one horn's tome. Give you a quick as well. If I sting this frontliner, I can kill the back. No, I can't kill the backliner because it, uh, it, it got stuff. Hang on. Never mind, it kills the backliner now. <laughs> oh, absolutely got him. Okay. Fire Chomper behind you. Now I can one horn stone. Let's end graft first, just in case. One horn's tome again, end flame, reinforce. Ah, pop a strain train steward there. Ah, oh, that should have been on the next floor for the money, Ryan! Bye. Sorry, I'm too I'm too giddy off of the <laughs> this giant unit we have. What a unit of a guy. Absolute beast. We only have four cards left in the deck, and one of them is in flame. One of them's in flame and one of them's in graft. Oh my god. End flame. Draw it back. End flame. Double sting. I'm gonna do that every turn. This deck is done. This there is nothing else I want to add to this deck at this point. <laughs> this might be the fastest that I've ended up with like an obvious win. 16 minutes in from the first couple spaces, we kind of knew how this one was going. Battering Ram, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to five times the amount of armor on friendly units. I don't know if I need it. I don't want it. I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> uh, something interesting can be found in the Hellvent Caverns. Uh, obviously, reducing the cost and giving hold over to Engraft would also be really good. Plus, there's an artifact over here. We have no minions in the deck to forge, so sure. Double stack again. I don't think there's anything we can double stack here. Yeah, literally nothing. That's fine. This is less fine. I don't want either of these at all. The stings will dilute my deck. Yes, they'll do, uh, dilute my deck right up until the final fight, but... Still annoying. Trap shoot or a still pulley claw. So trap shoot descends a unit back to the bottom floor and applies days one. The hook will ascend it to the top floor and apply days three. I think I want the doors actually. Send them down to the bottom floor. Also, I already have a uh, a golden uh, a golden border for steel pulley claws, so I might as well get one for the claws. If nothing else, it days is a bottom line unit for free. <laughs> The train steward out of there. I also want those things out, but maybe not yet. Not just yet. Fell and her allies will add scourges to your deck. Yeah, that's a really annoying one. So I should set up on the bottom floor here just so I have the ability to kill these early. Yeah, this will do it. Yeah, plus one horn's tome. I'll end graft. End flame. Sting. The train steward behind. So I'll take the weight of contrition here, but I get to kill everything on the bottom floor. Beautiful. I jump in there. One horn's tome. One another tome. Don't need to do anything except for, I guess, train steward. And I'll trap shoot. I just want to get that out of the deck. I actually could have trap shooted the, the boss down here to take a, more, a bunch more damage. That's exactly what I should have done. That's my bad. Okay. Let's get the Pie Chomper up here for the removal of these. Reinforce there. Good. Going down to the bottom floor. Come on. It'd be a good time. It's a party down here. All we need is you. Uh, 
Yeah, 456 damage to the enemy this turn. <laughs> oh, perfect. Happily collect all of my slays. It's got to be the final round, right? Hey, there we go. Got him. Must be a speed run, I guess. Extra card a turn. Gets us our setup a lot faster. Last stand, consume double the amount of rage on friendly units. Or consume, draw X, enhance all cards drawn this way with negative two cost. I mean, if that ended up enhancing both Engraft and Inflame, I still couldn't play multiple of them in the same turn. So yeah, last stand. Last stand is just like a really good way to get up a bunch of damage really quickly though. Let's go over here for the artifacts. When you play the third card of the turn, draw three is huge. 25% chance to deal five damage when an enemy enter, uh, whenever it enters your train. Fine, not huge, fine. To the next area. There is another Merchant of Trinkets in the next area. That's when I'll remove my cards if I'm going to. I'm still waiting for like, you know, more rage effectively. Enemies enter with armor 20, that's okay. I might have to set up on a higher floor here. Hornbreaker on the bottom line. Start with the one horn's tome. And graph for the draw. Okay. We have no rage on that bottom line yet. Cool. Uh Pyre Chomper on this floor. Another Pyre Chomper on this floor. Another one horn's tome. Still not enough to even kill the frontliner. There we are. Finally did it. Train steward behind, I guess. So that light wings is just getting through. I'll probably trap shoot it back down later in these cycles. I'll double my armor there because we're gonna be. It, that's enough. That'll be enough armor for us. Hey, got him. All right. I might have to take the ultimate penance here. So I want one horn's tome, end flame, wildwood tome, use a end graft, hopefully to draw end flame. And we do, we even get the energy to play it. Now we're just wiping those out. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let's drop the purifier back down here as well. Because then we can kill it. And now we're only, yo, uh, two stings or a sting and a torch away from killing the unit that got away. Well, we'll do all of those first. And then sting you to death. <laughs> oh, it could scarcely have been better. And now because of Sigil Steel, I get to do my whole cycle twice there. And flame and grafts. And flame draws and grafts back because of the Sigil Steel drawing. And then and graft draws and flame. <laughs> Alright, let's throw out a last stand now. Got him. Uh, apply dazed to enemy units whenever they enter the pyre room. Your pyre gets negative five damage. Yeah, so this just means that it, if anything enters with uh, 35 health or less, it dies. Which is nice for us. I don't think I need any of these. The closest would be Impish Scholar for another copy of the, uh, the Last Stand. But honestly, like, the further we murky the deck after this point, the much worse off we're going to become. 
the consistency with which we draw our win conditions at the moment is like a huge appeal of this deck. Uh, Rage does not decay on friendly units and five energy on turn, uh, turn one of battles. Sounds good to me. Just in case I draw all of my one horns tomes on turn one. Horns tomes. Uh, take some money. Yeah. It's literally just for score. We're taking that money. Move two cards from the deck. Honestly, it'd be two Pyre Chompers at this rate. But in the first cycle, they are quite useful getting those one horn tomes out. The two stings aren't, though. But then at the end of the game, we have, you know, nothing but the stings to play, basically. I don't think the deck needs to be messed with at all, but I'm going to remove one Sting and one Train Seward. I'm leaving a Sting in the deck so that I can get, uh, get a Golden Border on it. This would be... Slay for extra damage does seem appealing, but also we just get 60 base damage with the uh, Wrathful. Yeah. And then... Remove another card from the deck. Get a Pyre Chomper out, maybe? No. No, we'll hold up. All right, Seraph. Oh no, we've got negative five damage and negative five health on our units. However, will we survive? What cruel fate we are subject to here. What is Sting, Hornbreaker, pop a Pyre Chomper on the next floor, draw my three cards. Ooh, lovely. Let's go one Horns Tome, End Graft, one Horns Tome, End Flame, make you fast. I give you another 62 armor. How about that? Let's get another Pyre Chomper out of this deck. We don't need it. And then trap shoot you down to the bottom floor so I can fight you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, okay. One Horn Stone sands up the Inflame. Then we can end graft getting the same Inflame back and having the energy for it. Shouldn't have killed that enemy. That's fine. Flame and graft and flame and graft and flame. Got him. Okay. 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 I'll stand. Good fight. I, I I thought this game could not be won in any fewer than 40 minutes. Evidently, I was wrong. Extremely wrong. Well, for the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game <laughs> has been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.